you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever since I filmed a makeup tutorial. I've been like, God knows where. I probably say that in every intro. That's probably gonna be my new intro. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been forever, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm gonna try to upload all the videos I can. Honestly, the past like month or two that I've been trying to upload my videos since then, so I've been trying to like upload every single Friday like I usually do. I do record videos and I've tried to pre-record and um, edit those. So many inconveniences, it's a point blank going on and stuff, so I wasn't able to upload the video or edit it. It, you know, it was like one thing or the other. But anyways, enough ranting, let's talk makeup now. So I was originally going to do like an emerald green yellowy look, but I had seen and I remembered that I had already done a green look, even though it was shit, because it was like, like probably like a year ago, I think. I don't know. But um, I'm going to have to recreate that because I've gotten a lot better with my makeup skills. But it turned out to this, and I'm not complaining because I like how it came out personally. So yeah, but if you guys are wondering how I got this look, what tips and tricks I've been using, what new techniques and all that jazz, then you guys should definitely keep on watching so you can learn how to do this, something similar, or get inspired off of it, you know, whatever, whatever. So um, without further ado, let's get started and get into this beautiful purpley makeup tutorial using my beautiful chocolate hair palette. Yes! Okay, so before I get started with my makeup, I just wanted to get my skincare out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare. I just did a face mask and I peeled it off. Well, most of it. And then I'm going to um, do my toner, moisturizer, serums, wash my face, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm using my new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and this is so good. I love this. It really does help with my foundation. I found that with this one, it's like, I've been testing a lot of different primers to see which one, like, is my, my go-to, and honestly, I feel like this one is up there. So I would definitely recommend this one for a long-lasting photo finish foundation like makeup look I don't know you guys just need to try this one out I'm going to be applying the 24 hour infallible pro glow foundation by L'Oreal and I'm in the shade 208 if anyone's wondering like this one is a really good um, foundation for the drugstore it's like comparable to a high-end foundation is really good the infallible is ugh, so amazing but I'm mainly focusing on the eyeshadow today that's why I'm like just rushing into all the face stuff so I'm gonna do that and then do my eyebrows and then we'll get started on the eyeshadow. I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like. I already opened it, but oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I love the writing. I'm just so excited. I'm so proud of her. Like she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. And oh, to see this, like I've been watching her for years and like watching her, oh my god, throughout the years and stuff, it's just amazing. Like she's come this far to doing this, you know? It's just it's crazy. But these are the colors, oh my god, and they're so pretty, I'm really excited about each and every one of them. I don't even know what to do first, and I love the smell, it just smells like new, you know, like that new smell, like, not like a new car or like new, I don't know, I don't know. And I love that it came with this little plastic thing, so, the part where it says, this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, doesn't get fucked up. It does restock, as she said. But when that restocks, I'm definitely getting another one. This palette is too good to not have two of them, right? Right. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to do one eye, and then I'll be back. I just wanted to, like, say this because I'm just, like, so excited about it. Okay. Without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, and this is what I ended up coming up with. With a black smoky eye with a pop of purple. And I love how it came out actually so you know what I'm not complaining it's still came out really cool honestly I only use three palettes um let me see let me get my shit together really quick okay so the three palettes I ended up using for this makeup look is of course the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette oh my god this is ugh, beautiful you are definitely gonna see loads and loads of tutorials using this gorgeous palette and then the second palette i ended up using is also by morphe it's a 35b which is just a lot of colorful colors in here let me take this off and this palette is also so beautiful like, all these colors are just so beautiful i had to get it and the last palette i ended up using is by urban decay it's the moon dust and it's a metallic eyeshadow with like reflex oh my god i'm living for this palette it's so gorgeous i saw it and i just grabbed it and put it in my cart i was like yep 
this, I need this, I need this. And it makes a lot of simple makeup looks just come together. Like you can just add the pop of color and the inner tear duct with one of those and it just like <sighs> completes it and makes it look a little more glammy, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this shade in Butter by the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using this Morphe brush. It came from a brush set so it doesn't have the numbers on it but I use this brush set all the time and it's linked down in almost all my videos so if you don't know what set this is go ahead and look at my other videos and it should be in the description box below. So starting off I'm going to go ahead and just grab this butter color and when I first started doing my makeup with this palette I was so shook because the pigmentation is oh my god so beautiful it's so pigmented like this palette is literally just so perfect every color I used a lot of different now I used four colors from this palette and they were all different textures one was really buttery the other one was super I mean they're all really pigmented the color does come out a lot but the texture is just so different but it's like oh, I love it okay so I'm just putting that onto my crease back and forth it doesn't matter if it's super like messy because you're gonna be blending other colors in so with the other colors it'll blend itself out and then I'm gonna go in with creamsicle which is a beautiful yellow mustardy color Oh, so pretty. I've been looking for an eyeshadow of that color, that shade, that yellow. I'm so glad she came out with that one. I was like, yes, I needed a color like that. I mean, I saw this one from the 35B palette. And I was like, that's kind of close to it, but they're totally different tones, actually. This one's more of like a warmer tone, and this is like a brighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. All I'm doing right now is just making sure that it doesn't have any harsh lines, even though it doesn't matter because we're going to use other colors to blend it out. Let's do. Next, I'm going to move on to the 513 by Morphe. And I'm going to grab this green shade in Enchanted and put that onto my crease, mostly in the outer corner. And just blend that in windshield wiper motion once again. And then I did switch over to the 518 just to like blend it out a little more. And make sure that the lines are smoothened out. You see how it's like coming all blended so pretty right there. Just Present keep blending. Especially when you're dealing with dark colors, blending is the key for your eyeshadow to come out. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to the black eyeshadow. And this is the scurry part because with black eyeshadow, if you put too much, you oh, No, I'm just kidding. Basically, kind of, you really are. So just going to tap this in once. And then apply it onto my lid slowly, slowly build it up. If you hear something like eerie in the background, it's my ghost adventures on my Hulu because um, I love scary stuff. I never get scared. But the only thing that really scares me is spirits and stuff because ghosts, I feel like they're fake, you know, but demons and stuff, they're real. So that's like scary, you know. So when I see stuff like that, it's like... I'm like this the whole time, but I'm still watching it, you know. I'm not going to be applying any more shadow. I'm just going to be blending that out, and then we'll continue with that. But I'm just going to blend that out, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to go in with the 518 brush, and I'm going to go in back with Creamsicle very lightly, and then put it onto my crease. You see how right there it's like super black, and right here you can't even see my transition color anymore. I don't want it to be too harsh, so creamsicle color is going to help to kind of diffuse it a little more and make it gradiate and just look better blended. You yeah, don't know what I mean? These colors blend so well. So good. I love it. Okay. So now that I got that done, I'm going to get my Morphe Prep and Set spray and just a very little spritz it on my finger. Oh, you've got ice cream bars. There we go. Just that much. And then I'm going to go in with Royalty, which is a beautiful purple color. And it's at this shade right here. So pretty. I'm going to apply that onto the center of my lid. Just dab it on. And look at how pigmented that is. So pigmented. And this color is so pretty. It's a foiled purple color. I love it. I'm going to use the Morphe M506, which is a small little blending brush like a detailing little tapered blending brush it's so cute and i'm just going on the crease right there making sure that it's blended out perfect and then whatever is left on my finger it's so pigmented look at that i'm gonna put it onto my bottom lash line it's okay if it's messy and smudgy 
because I'm gonna make I'm gonna smudge it out and smoke it out anyways. So with that same 506 and 506 brush, I'm going in with twerk. <laughs> and I'm going to apply that on the outer V of my eye and just blend it up. I'm just gonna blend it out to uh, make it a smokier, darker look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Moon Dust. Finally, the Urban Decay metallic beautiful color. It's mmm. Mmm. Just so pretty. And I'm gonna go in with magnetic, which is a purple shade right here. And I'm just gonna apply that into my inner tear duct, my inner eye, and just make that pop. And I love this eyeshadow color because it has blue little foiled metallic colors in there, like little sparkles. And then I'm gonna go in with Element, which is just a little pink shade right next to it, to add a little more purpley toned into there because uh, magnetic is or more of a blue shade. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lids. I'm gonna use this Jordana retractable pencil and it's called Purple Fusion. It's this one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline. So with the E36, it's just super small little pointed tapered brush. No, it's a pencil brush, not a tapered brush. I'm gonna go in with Soda Pop. I'm gonna smudge out my waterline. Blend, girl, blend. So to clean up this nonsense, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in um, light medium, if anyone's wondering. And this gives off a lot of products, so I always like to just like clean off the edges like that. Because I don't need that much concealer, you know. And I'm going to very lightly and very carefully, closely, line this part right here. Just a straight line. There we go. And then down my cheeks. And the thing about this concealer, not only does it smell so freaking good, but it dries really fast. And I'm just going to dab it on. I love this brush for concealer. It's my favorite. It's the Morphe E8. And this is perfect for buffing out your concealer like I said just gives you that flawless finish and a lot of these brushes the new ones that I'm now showing you are from the Morphe collection that Jaclyn Hill did back when when was it a couple months ago actually and it was just basically a box here I have it with me actually the brushes came in a little box like this one exactly this one actually beautiful alligator skin or whatever skin this is but it's so pretty so chic and they fit like a lot of stuff fits in here I have a lot of random things in here but like it doesn't mess up your brushes so instead of it coming in like a cheap little bag it comes in this little box and they don't bend when they like go in your travel size pack or like I was gonna say pack in the bag so your travel size bag so that's what I like about that I just I love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same concealer to highlight my face, just brighten up my chin and my forehead, and then down the bridge of my nose. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and bake my face. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder, the translucent one, of course, but I don't have my beauty blender because I forgot it in my man's car. So I'm just gonna improvise and use a brush, which is fine, works the same way, same shape. The thing with this though is I don't like baking my face for too long. I literally just put bronzer on, put my blush on, and then dust it off because then it'll leave me a super white cast and then I'll be super matte, like super duper matte, and I'm not trying to be that matte. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, Amazonian Clay Bronzer. It's a waterproof one actually, and this one came in my Ipsy Glam Bag this month and I'm loving it so much. It's such a beautiful bronze color. It has like little... Um, sparkles in it like golden flecks and I love it. It's just like the perfect shade for my tone. And then I'm going to use this super big brush by Morphe. It's the R2 for bronzer. So then I'm going to use the Balm Springs long wearing blush in full swing. And then I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics 134. I love, 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 love. I love this blush so much. It's like the perfect color for my skin tone this one also came in my ipsy glam bag it's gonna last me a long while because i don't really wear blush but actually ever since i got this one i've been using it every single time i put bronzer on it's like bronzer and then my blush so now i'm gonna dust it off using my morphe m437 it doesn't really matter which brush you use to dust off your um powder because 
they all do the same thing. I just like to use this one because it's so soft on my face and it's like the perfect size. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this makeup look, yes. Now I'm going to highlight and I'm gonna be using this brush by Morphe. It's an M438. And I have so many things by Morphe. Honestly, half of my makeup collection is by Morphe because their products are not only affordable, but they give off the same um, quality that high-end products do, you know? It's amazing. Cheap price, good products. I mean, sign me up. <laughs> so then I just uh, misted this with my setting spray, which is the Morphe one, to give my um, highlight a little more of a pop. And I'm going to go in with Vermeer. I know it's an eyeshadow, but it works so good as a highlight as well. So then I'm going to apply my mascara. And then I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna set my face using the Morphe Prep and Set Spray. I love it so much. So this is lip option number one, which is just the Milani Match number 10. I like a little shimmer in mine, so I'm gonna be going in with my Dior. This is the number 629. And guys, believe it or not, it went a whole six hour shift with these two combo and I didn't have to touch up once okay no, that's a lie I touched up once during my 10 minute break and it, it stayed after that I was talking to customers back and forth bringing people up talking 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 and my lipstick did not um, I mean by the end of the day it wasn't as glossy like this but it was like an even prettier color so this is the finished look and i just hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did making it for you guys i had so much fun playing around with all this makeup i just got so excited today to be back in my groove i've like got so many like ideas and like i'm just so inspired right now to do makeup and stuff so that's why i'm here sitting here doing makeup and doing this tutorial so yeah um i would definitely recommend you guys to go out and get this palette when it does restock like and they usually stock it up at 8 in the morning <laughs> if you guys don't have that palette you definitely have to go out and get it and um, set an alarm set a reminder and put it in your calendar august i don't know what day it is yet but when that palette comes out girl you need one if not two because i'm about to get myself a second one when they restock it again because she said they're going to keep stocking it up until everyone in the world gets it and you know what? i'm gonna get two for that person that didn't get it you know if you guys did enjoy this makeup look and want to um, more tutorials on dark glammed looks let me know in the comments down below like it it helps me out a lot so i know what type of video you guys are you guys are more into and which ones you guys aren't feeling that much um i have a bunch of like vlogs um that i've recorded but i haven't like um edited it or like put it together or anything yet because i don't know if you guys want to watch that like i've gone to um san francisco and then i went to see wiz and like a bunch of different things i don't know if you guys want to see that and if you do leave me comments down below and i will leave down the experience um with you guys i'll make a vlog channel or something i don't know i don't know leave me ideas down below so i know what to put out there and i also have a makeup page that where i'm more active than on my youtube obviously instagram i post like almost not every day, but I try to post whenever I do have my makeup done or like outfits and stuff like that. I do post that on there. So I will leave that at the end of the video so you guys can follow me on there and stay um, more in tune with my life. And so if you guys want to see that, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching. You'll see me in my next video. Bye.